that is the second video of the series videos so in the previous videos i told you how to draw the diagram in the io diagrams draw io so after that the completion of the diagram you can export the, your pictures from to here okay extract No, not from here. It is given the regular. Other kind. After that, uh, extract it and let's uh, export. So not this one. Sorry. Uh, sorry, set file. Uh, go to the file and uh, come to here. Export as is a PNG, JPG, and something else. PDF. Uh, and you will change JPG sometimes or PNG sometimes. You will zoom it down in versions and those things will calculate and export it where will you want to export it your device or somewhere else you can choose and uh, from there it will be exported no problem see my uh, picture is exported and let's see the pictures this picture is like here and uh, there is a this one there is a no additional dotted diagram or something else it's just simple so come back to project again so and the last sections i had discussed about some of those other things uh, here sorry it's uh, here uh, project uh, velocity application now i will discuss some of the terminology uh, about the how the velocity will update it okay so if the particle has a minimum velocity or a maximum velocity so we need to consider it how how much uh, particle velocity will be there so that is a uh, depend upon to you how will change the parameters of the particle sum optimizations let's see the velocity restricting of the particle sum optimizations how would the velocity implications if a particle the velocity is vid and it is the greater than the provided velocity of vmax then we will reset the velocity vid as a vmax and if the velocity is going to less than of v minus vmax minus vmax is the another term of v mean so we will reset the velocity as a v min or minus v max okay it is a velocity addition terms now some of the talks about the particles the local best and uh, global best what is the particle local best and global best how will calculate the particle local best and global best let's see here it is a particle local best as well as global best how you calculate and particle local best as well as global best positions what happened First, you need to randomly, randomly some particle in the initial velocity and position we need to give. After that, from the particle, we'll calculate the particle P best. P best is a personal best from such space dimension of the from where we'll calculate the personal best of the particle. After getting the P best, we'll evaluate the fitness value for each particle. What is the fitness value if some particles velocity or the uh, positions? Uh, fitness value is needs if according, uh, according to the particle global best and particle the new positions we need to fitness value i will come to the sections details and uh, the next sections now after that calculated the ever best fitness value p based and to make it the global best in the swarm um, particle swarm optimization the words happen how will calculate the one is the particle swarm optimization is a actually global uh, is it the swarm intelligence problems in the definitions if you uh, can see that uh, particles of optimization definitions there is mentions in the particles of optimization in a such way that there is a number of candidate solutions so by tuning the number of uh, candidate solution you can get a global best solutions here the global best solution is known as the g best so from where you get the g best i mean global best global best is nothing global best is the best solution for the tuning solution tuning best solution from the previous solution is in a global best now again what's happened uh, we need to calculate the fitness value of the p-based and p-based value is a greater than g-based then we make the p-based value the g-based it is every time every iteration so we'll do the same thing if sometimes g-based value is less than p-based then we'll reset as a p-based value as g-based in vice versa we can say if the p-based value this value is p-based value is in greater than the g-based value greater than the g-based value then what happened the new G-based will be the P-based. 
previously the personal best positions and modifying the value particle position and validity until we get the desired result till now we will do the same things okay that is the local based and global based positions so about the some fun concept about here now um, come to the next session so on um, next slides here let's see constructions coefficients you heard the name first times i think so what's the construction coefficient construction coefficients is proposed by dr everhart and uh, dr uh, russell everhart and uh, james kennedy and uh, identified that and you know, when they are proposed uh, this methodology for particles on optimization construction coefficients and this is given by this equation form so by construction coefficients i copy these things and uh, sorry um, copy these things okay um copy this thing and i'm putting the values of construction coefficients here but why why am construction coefficients i'm adding here in the particle velocity they propose the construction coefficient as if the particle velocity to modify to modify the particle velocity when particle velocity is goes to very high then it will receive the all the particle velocity to its maximum boundary value if the particle velocity is fall down to going the or rapidly fall down then it will reset the particle velocity as its minimum velocity for that reasons the uh, the construction coefficient chi phi this one and this formula is given here chi is equal to 2 by 2 minus chi minus square root of chi square minus 4 chi where chi have a particular value what is the chi have a particular value chi this chi the chi value is dependent upon the two construction coefficient value you can remember the construction coefficient value the construction coefficient value is the c1 plus of c2 c1 on these two values it is dependent upon the construction coefficient in these two values c1 and c2 is dependent upon the chi and they proposed that this value will be greater than or is equal I mean, greater than is equal to 4 as they proposed James Kennedy and Russell ever so we need the construction coefficient to modify the value within a certain boundary limit now in the particle zone optimization it has some features what is the feature of particle zone optimization it has some features let's discuss the features the swarm to be able to perform moved in a simple space and measure the time complexity obviously swarm will perform in a simple space and my and to measure the time complexity it will do in each and every swarms now in the second swarm will can to be able to responsible for environment change each and every time environment change swarm can able to respond and swarm will not be swarm will not be processed within a small domain i mean the search domain space within the will not be small i mean it will be large and the fourth point as the environment alters swarm cannot alter their properties and their behaviors sometimes environment change suddenly they will not change their properties okay but they will responsible for their changes now swarm need the ability swarm need the ability to learn the behavior when the desired result is not found that's why they will learn the ability or to change their behaviors it is about some features of particle swarm optimizations okay now up to here i think find now if i want to discuss the another thing now uh, whatever that i need and uh, left is not remember but then the, i will come to the next sections here that is about particle piece algorithm let me enlarge these things particle okay it is a particle sorry
these two algorithms in this thing is that these two algorithms okay so what happens with these two algorithms first we will be initialize the particle it is the picture just I copy paste it here to learn to learn this thing okay just we initialize the particle after that we calculate the fitness of the all particle after that we will calculate the p-based and g-based of all particles update the particle position and velocity calculate the fitness and of all particle again after that we update the previous and previous positions again after that if the satisfy with the end conditions i mean we satisfy the global result or the optimal result we find then we'll stop the conditions i mean will it will be goes to the yes condition obtain the optimal parameter value and the optimal result to obtain the desired value if not then it will goes to the next iterations update the particle position value again until we are not getting the global based position or global based value we will continue the process at the particles on top imagine bc flowchart i draw the flowchart by my own hands uh, in the world you can draw it in uh, draw you or it will max no problems and you can modify some of the parts or you can propose some of the new things no problem about that now i'm coming to the pseudo code of particle sum optimizations is a very important Zero code of particle from optimizations is copy restricted. If you copy it in a restricted, please mention my names as well as past from where you get it. You can uh, features refer my paper also. When I will publish my paper, I will give the descriptions linked in the paper of the YouTube box below. See, in descriptions of the pseudo code here. First, we will for each particle i, for each dimension b, set the particle of the parameter. Initialize the particles positions Initialize the given velocity here. I mean after that we are ending to do the for loops after that for each iteration K we will do that each particle Maximum number of iterations we are going to set after that for uh, Mentioning each of the particles will velocity resulting doing I mean velocity ablations and as well as the position ablations we are doing here and we are ending the two for loops here for uh, each particles now for i is equal to one to population sized do both the if the particle fitness is x of i and the fitness of p based is greater than p based and then p based will be x of i and for iteration i is equal to population is two for all the particles as well as for, for positions updation change as well as do it for also the result updation change and according to that you need to find the neighborhood positions if the particle pvst is the neighborhood based and then we will calculate the neighborhood as this formula and for particle all the particles can do again if the pvst is less than g based then it will be updated in the pvst mm, will update the pvst and we are ending the two for loop and ending uh, update the particle position according to equations four and five again four and five again from the here and the end statement is the basic concept of particles from the optimization pseudo code it stands to the basic condition of the particle from optimization pseudo code and uh, in my paper the pseudo code I refer here. Here, the particle sum optimization pseudo code here. When you write the code, you will write the code in this manner. Okay, it is about the particle sum optimization. In the next sessions, I will code for particles of for optimizations with a very basic, very basic to understand. After that, the video of the very basic video of the coding. I will go for the very complicated of code for particular sum optimizations and which is very robust and which is applicable in all the domains. So try to wait for me and wait for the next sessions. We'll update. Uh, we'll come back to very soon in the next video and try to follow my all the videos. Those of the person still now not watching my first video, please watch my first video as well as second. If you want, you can take it as a your academic project. Thank you, bye.